you think of the symbols of Texas, you might think of the Alamo, or perhaps Cowboys, or maybe even your favorite sports team. But what about the symbols that tie us to our natural heritage? You probably know the official state flower, but do you know what the official state plant is? Each spring, motorists pause along the roadways for an annual tradition, a picture in the blue bonnets. The Texas blue bonnet is the official state flower, and thanks to a planting campaign by the Texas Department of Transportation, these flowers are almost everywhere. The official state plant is perhaps as common, but certainly not as cuddly. The prickly pear cactus can grow practically anywhere. These hardy succulents can even be used for cattle feed after the spines have been removed. This unusual creature has been embraced as the official small mammal of Texas. The nine-banded armadillo is a relative of the anteater. While many find this docile creature cute in a way only a Texan could love, they can damage gardens and landscapes as they root around in search of insects. If the armadillo is the official small mammal, any guess as to the official flying mammal of Texas? It's the Mexican free-tailed bat. Bats are now recognized for the work they do protecting crops from insect damage, and they've become popular subjects for wildlife watchers. Crowds now gather at popular bat emergence sites for an amazing sunset spectacle. The state insect can create quite a buzz as it passes through Texas. Unique in the insect world, a monarch butterfly's migration is a marvel. Adult monarchs migrating through Texas from Mexico in the spring reproduce and die before their offspring head back to Mexico in the fall. This new generation completes a long journey to a winter roosting site they have never seen. So you know our state flower, our state plant, two mammals, and an insect. But do you know our state bird? Here's a hint. If you guessed the mockingbird, you were right.